awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do subscription box unboxings, makeup try-ons, and occasionally I throw something else in to keep you on your toes. And today, I want to play with my The Queen palette by Eloise. I think I got it right that time. And my Phase 10 blush and bronzer set. And then I'm going to pick one of my um, Folly Fire lipsticks to go with whatever look I decide to go with today. I already did my eyebrows with my um, Good Day, Good Brow Day by the Beauty Corporation. And I primed my eyes with my Morphe Eye Primer. And I. It's taken me so long to decide what I wanted to do because I absolutely love all the colors in here, but I really, really want to play with Your Highness, which is this color right here, because I believe that's the chrome they were talking about. So I'm going to do browns and use that, I guess. Um, I really wanted to play with the purples and the blues, but we'll get to that eventually. Okay, so I'm going to use my BH number no. 9 brush to start off with, and I think that I will use, start off with the color um, Sheba, which is this, oops, this one right here. I really don't want to swatch it because I'm wearing long sleeves. Okay, it's freezing here in northern Michigan. It is um, like 50 degrees outside, and it feels 50 degrees outside. All right, so I'll get, I taped my back of my mirror so that way I could use it this way instead of having to look down all the time. So I'm going to start here and just tap that product on Get a little more tap that product how's everybody doing today huh i hope everybody is doing so good so good and if you're in a cold state like i am i hope you're staying warm because it is cold it is so so cold out and it's only going to get worse. I think as you get older, it's harder to deal with the weather. I used to laugh at um, the elderly when they would tell me things like that. I'd be like, yeah, whatever. It's not that bad. But I'm getting older and it's that bad. So listen to your elders if you're a youngin we know what we're talking about but unfortunately most of us don't realize that until we're elders ourselves okay i think i'm gonna try to darken that up with kingdom maybe i should have just started with kingdom but kingdom is that color right there So far, I'm liking it. It is not as pigmented as I'd hoped it was, but I bet you it's a buildable. Oh, I think, yes, that's the color. Because I want to be able to see it, you know? So. I don't want to go, what is it, um, natural, um, neutral look where you look like you're not wearing any makeup at all I just don't wear makeup I'd rather just go with an empty face than try to make my makeup look like I don't have any on and I know that I look good with or without makeup on so mm, all right look at that that is nice, isn't it? Can you guys tell? I don't know what's going on with my lighting. It keeps um, changing. I've been researching it, and I just cannot figure it out. So I'm sorry if I'm too bright or I am too yellow. Um, 
it is what it is, I guess. There's not much that I can do about the actual lighting itself. I'm just going to go ahead and just use my finger because I just gave in and said, okay, I'm just going to use my finger for shimmer shades. So we're going to use your highness just as a reminder and hope that it goes on very nicely. I see some people use their brushes um, and depending on on it I can use my brush too but it always works with the finger so okay yes I am liking that because I like shimmers so I noticed that there's a lot of people that like that Sakari and Sage vegan eyeshadow palette and one of my sisters on YouTube said that I should try it again and if it don't work like it's supposed to then to reach out to Ipsy and see if they can replace it that I may have just got a bad palette because she said she is not having that problem at all with her palette with the glitter going all over the face so I'm gonna go ahead and just reach out to them um, does it take me forever to get that um, palette glitter off of my face so I don't really want that to get happen again. Oh, that's going on really good. This is the brush I use to put on my um, eye primer with. So I thought, well, maybe this will make this a little bit better. Okay, okay, I'm liking that. Alrighty, look at that. That's nice, I think. I think, I think. You might not think, but that's okay. So, hopefully this won't be too long of a video. I'm trying my hardest to um, shorten them down so that way they're not forever. Not forever ever forever long and a million years to watch because I'm noticing I'm gonna go back into that kingdom just to blend it in with this um I've noticed that people leave comments on other people's channels that you know have videos that are 20 minutes or longer that they should shorten them or I didn't watch all of it because it was too long and so I don't want that. I don't want y'all to get bored with my videos. Can you guys see that? Yes. I think it looks good. I went ahead and just finished my eyes and added my foundation since everything else is the blush, um, bronzer, and lipstick. I did use my The Ordinary's Colors in 1.2 Nude, my Big Fat Liner by Rockins, my Wander Beauty Mile High Club Mascara, and I think it's almost gone. I'm glad I got another one, but I have been using this since June because it came in my very first um, Allure box when I bought the full year and I got the bonus edition. It came in the bonus edition, and then I used my Tarte C Surf Curl Mascara, 
And now we can play with the rest of the products that I have. That is how my eyes ended up. I'm satisfied. The Queen palette was patchy as heck in all the videos that I watched. Even when I um, swatched my own, you could see that it was patchy, but it is not patchy on your eyes. It's smooth, it blends nicely, and it looks really, really good. Actually, my eyes are darker than what it is in the camera. And I think that's because of my lighting. Like, I feel like I look like a ghost at the moment. But I tell you, my foundation is the right color. Um, okay, so let me go ahead. And I turn my e.l.f. Um, bronzer contour brush into just my blush brush. Because I have another one by BH Cosmetics that I'll use just for my contouring, bronzing, whatever. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to do a mixture of both because that's kind of pinker. This is kind of browner. Um, so I think if I mix them together, then it'll work out perfect. Might be too dark. We'll see. Oh, yes. Look at that. Can you see that? I will figure out my lighting eventually. If any of you guys have any helpful hints, feel free been watching a um, guy on YouTube that does lighting and I've done it at 45 degree angles. I've pointed it up to the ceiling. I've um, added more lights. I've taken away lights. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it sucks because sometimes I feel like my lighting's perfect and other times I feel like it's horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. Like today, I feel like it's wrong. And I don't have any windows open. It's just my room. Everything's shut down. I'm in a little corner of my bedroom. I have it lit up. I have no idea. All right. I probably just played with my cheeks way too much while I was talking. <laughs> so I'm going to put that back and then I'm going to grab that BH number three um, contour brush thing and I'm gonna tap that on and I always just go right here I don't know I just line it up tap it on my face and blend it oh yeah I almost forgot <laughs> I went in and did everything um, because I wanted to add my, um, I'm going to use my Morphe brush. It doesn't say what number it is. I'm going to go in to Sheba, the lighter brown. And I want to tap that under my eyes because I'm finding out that when I wear foundation, I'll do my under eyes. And then I take my foundation all the way up to my eye. And then it covers my makeup. And then I got to redo it. Now to the lipstick. And I think that I want to use... Um, hmm, let's see. What color do you think would look best? Hmm, I think I'm going to do this one today. Because my eyes are kind of like popping, so I don't need nothing too bright on my lips. And this was the um, Full House color. Okay, let me grab my little mirror. Oh, I think I put that up way too far. I'm going to break my damn lipstick. I am. Oh, this is nice. I know you can't see it. <laughs> Sorry. I just realized. It is a matte lipstick. But it's like a um it's like a cream matte actually. 
because it went on really nice. So what do you think? Do you like what I came up with today or do you think it's... I mean, you can let me know either way. Um, I do like to know what you think. I may not take your opinion and um, consider it important, but I still like to know what people think. I just like people to talk and leave comments at the bottom of my description thing. Talk to me. Um, don't forget, if you have not entered into our collab video yet, I will leave a link up here so you can just go to it, watch it, um, get all the rules and um, and I also link the other girls who's a part of my collab up here too and down in my description box and their names are Gracefully Cheryl and Johanna Masonet. Um, but with all that being said, that is all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome. Peace.